Hi guys, I've got a request from Fintan Murphy to make a car with an electric motor. Just very simple, very basic. No steering, no radio control, just an electric motor. So, I've got an empty cardboard box that um, my laptop battery came in. I've got some CDs that I've made into wheels for my uh, rubber band powered cars. So they're just ordinary CDs or DVDs with plastic bottle tops hot glued into the middle and a hole put in them so that we can put a bamboo skewer through the middle for the axle. These have actually been painted for one of my other projects. So, I'm going to poke some holes through here for the axles to go through. Then I've got an electric motor here. Not quite sure where it's come from. Probably a, probably a radio controlled car. Um, don't need all these batteries for it to run. That should do, and I'm going to make it as simple as I can. You'll see what I mean. Uh, have the wheels on here. I'm going to put some. Uh, what have we got some insulation off of a power cable. On there to give it a bit of grip. In fact, uh, I had some yeah, some silicon tubing that might give us even better grip. And that will go on the outside of there. Yeah, we'll do that. I had that down here for a different project earlier on. And I'm just going to get that to rub on the outside of the wheel and that will drive it along. So no gears, no pulleys, just a direct drive onto the outside edge of the wheel. So we'll hot glue that in place. So first of all, we'll mark up where we're going to put the holes. more of them.
I'll try it with just this first, and if that doesn't work, then I'll add the other tubing. Right, hot glue gun just to glue that in place. position the motor so it is actually going to rub the wheel and because these wobble around a bit you've got to try and allow for that proper toy wheels would be easier because they'd be um, a, more reliable but we'll just see if we can get it going like this need to let that hot glue cool down. So there we are, about as simple as you can get. All that happens is the shaft of the motor, we've got that bit of um, plastic tubing on it to give it a bit of grip. That just rubs against the outside of the wheel and that makes the wheel turn. The motor is just hot glued in place and I glued it in place with the motor running so I could check that we actually had enough friction to turn the wheels. Uh, the battery box is just the battery box that I happen to have that does hold up to eight batteries but I've just put two in there so we're running on three volts. Uh, these are crocodile clip leads. They've got crocodile clips at each end which makes them easy to clip on. Um, ideally you'd actually solder the wires directly onto the battery. But this is a temporary thing so we can take it off again. So if I connect on here And of course we have no steering so it just goes in a straight line. I'll just cover off a couple of other points like I said the wheels don't run very true they wobble in and out a bit so that's the reason I've angled this the way I have so that as the wheel wobbles it still stays in contact with the um, shaft. In fact there are a couple of points where it doesn't make contact but as long as it's built up a bit of speed then it runs on until it makes contact again. Stop it in just the right place. By leaving that over long, because it wobbles around a bit, that helps it make contact. So although this is very simple, it's using a couple of extra features to make sure it works. Using pulleys and rubber bands is probably the next easiest thing to do, because then the rubber band takes up any slack. When you actually move on to using gears, you have to get it right because the gears have to be in contact with each other, otherwise the teeth don't mesh. So this is probably the simplest. Next would be pulleys and a rubber band linking them together. 
and then move on to um, gears and teeth. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.